This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Hey, Forge fans, welcome back to another episode of Forge Daily. Today is May 12th, 2023. I'm your host, Mackenzie Barwell, here to give you all things Forge. A competitive matchup headed your way tomorrow, 4 p.m. Here at Tim Hortons Field, Forge taking on Valor FC. In this episode, we'll discuss the history between the two teams and some familiar faces, including Clyde Chella and Anthony Novak, who you can expect to see in Valor's lineup. I had the chance to talk to Tristan Borges, Alex Astronaut Janssen, and head coach Bobby Smirniotis about how the team is approaching an opponent like Valor who also sit at the top of the league standings. But first, let's take a look at what we've seen in the past between these two clubs. Now, this is arguably one of the closest matchups we will see this season. Looking at the all-time record against Valor, Forge has secured seven wins, six losses, and one draw. Forge conceding a total of 17 goals against, but securing 21 goals for over the course of each time the two clubs have met. Here's what Coach Bobby had to say on Valor at this point in the season. Yeah, they've shown through their first four games that uh, they're a hard-working squad. I mean, they really work for each other on, on the pitch, clear identity of how they're doing things on the ball and off the ball. And uh, we've got to be prepared for that. As usual, when we play at home, we have to come with uh, the right uh, energy and make sure that uh, we try and dictate the, the play and just be a little bit more forceful in the final third. Work ethic definitely seems to be a common theme thus far. Ashin Yodi Janssen touching on that as well, specifically referencing a high press I spoke to him and Tristan Borges. Here's what they had to say about their approach. Uh, I think we'll expect uh, a high high energy team. We know they uh, they like to make the game physical, so we got to be prepared for that. Uh, high press, so we got to be be ready to uh, play play quick and keep the ball moving and try to tire them out. Uh, I mean, it's already been a good start. We're just going game by game. I think every year it's always the same thing. I think the main focus that we always have is we set a goal in the beginning of the year and it's just about achieving it. So it's week by week and it's another game to try to get three points. Another update worth mentioning, Forge FC appealed to the Canadian Soccer Association and they've determined that Ashton Morgan will not be suspended for three games following that red card he received against York United. So you can expect to see him back out on the pitch tomorrow for what promises to be a close game. Valor FC currently sitting third in the CPL with one win and three draws. They've also got a strong presence in the attacking midfield position. CPL's April Player of the Month, Diego Gutierrez, will definitely be one to watch out for. He's currently tied second in the league for chances created and shot attempts. He's got seven of both. Not to mention former Forge favorites, center back Clyde Cella and striker Anthony Novak. They spent the first two seasons with the team in 2019 and 2020, of course winning two CPL championships. Novak actually remaining Forge's eighth top goal scorer of all time with nine total goals over his two years with the team. Here's Ashton Yodi Janssen and Borges on facing Novak in the offense and what kind of threats that he could bring to the game. Um, I don't think it changes too much. We obviously, most of us know Novak very well. He's been around the league for a long time and we played with him for a couple of years, most of us. Um, so uh, we know what he's about. He's a skilled player, so we, you know, we got to watch out, especially in the counters and the way he holds up the ball. So uh, it'll be a fun matchup. Uh, I mean, I think we know, you know, the years that he's been. I think he fights through adversity. Obviously, he's had some injuries, but I think he's a he's a hard worker and he can obviously finish the ball. So, uh, I think uh, you know us knowing him a little bit more on a personal level and obviously playing with him, we uh, we probably know some of his strengths and and obviously we're gonna we're gonna look to lock that down. But uh, yeah, I think uh, the main thing with him is he's he's definitely a hard worker. Forge with an opportunity to continue their win streak and hand Valor their first loss of the season. It all happens to be here at Tim Hortons Field, kickoff at 4 p.m. One other thing before we close out the episode, yesterday was Wubin Spazius' birthday. How could I forget on Forge Daily? So if you are at the game tomorrow, be sure to give him a happy belated shout if you have the opportunity. The team has an interesting tradition with birthdays. Here's Wubin's describing what happened to him this morning. So basically the tunnel is uh, when it's uh, someone's birthday. Uh, he has to go through the tunnel and all the guys can have a water bottle, Gatorade bottle, uh, balls, even mankins, and they try to hit him, put water on him, and yeah, that's the tradition for 
this. So that was you this morning. Yeah, that was me this morning because yesterday uh, we finished with a couple of shots finishing. So we didn't have the chance to do it, but today uh, they try to do it for me. Do you prefer being the one being thrown at or the one throwing? Of course, the one throwing. Because <laughs> when you, you're, you're inside by yourself and when everyone is trying to push you and put water, get it right. So not the best for thing, no, I guess. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> Thanks, so, Ruben. No worries, it's all good. That will wrap up today's episode of Forge Daily. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you on Monday when we discuss what unfolded in tomorrow's match. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share. 